Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about difference between cellular network and ad hoc network. Myself, uh, Dr. Arun, uh, working as a professor in Department of ECE, RMK College of Engineering and Technology, Chennai. So this is the model architecture of uh, cellular network and also mobile ad hoc network. So here uh, the cellular network we are representing as uh, fixed infrastructure network. Ad hoc network we are representing as infrastructure less network. So why means in your uh, cellular network the we have uh, base station, uh, mobile switching center and server to establish a call between one user to another user and for call maintenance and call costing and all we have a centralized system. Uh, in this uh, cellular network but in your mobile ad hoc network there is no centralized architecture is available or centralized facility is available in this mobile ad hoc network each and every node having equal capability to transmit information from one to one node to another node for example in this particular source node want to transmit the information to this particular destination node through multiple ops or well, that means uh, this particular laptop will transmit information to this particular smartphone then laptop then this uh, smartphone then finally it reaches to this particular smartphone so this is called a multiple or multiple hop architecture but in your cellular network single hop ar architecture at the same time this uh, mobile ad hoc uh, network we are representing as heterogeneous network because this network consists of uh, different kinds of devices like laptop, smartphone, tab, everything together can communicate between one device to another device. This is the overall uh, difference between cellular network and uh, mobile ad hoc network. First point representing infrastructure uh, in cellular network, fixed infrastructure ad hoc network uh, infrastructure less. Network routing wise centralized all the traffic goes through the base station uh, in ad hoc network distributed no centralized syst system such as base station uh, needed uh, switching type circuit switching in cellular network packet switching in ad hoc network uh, number of hops uh, to reach a source to destination single hop in cellular network uh, multiple hop in ad hoc network topology wise star topology in cellular and mesh topology in ad hoc network applications uh, designed and developed for commercial voice communication in cellular network in ad hoc network specifically the application domain includes battlefield emergency search and rescue operations and collaborative computing based on the call drop a cellular network uh, call drop is less and ad hoc network call drop is more during mobility Based on uh, network uh, maintenance, uh, cellular network uh, required periodic maintenance and hence it is costly. But in ad hoc uh, network nodes are self-organizing and hence it less cost. F based on frequency reuse, uh, it utilizes the same frequency channels in the nearby, chan nearby cells with proper RF planning and antenna placement. This is known as a static frequency reuse. But in ad hoc network, dynamic frequency reuse is employed with carrier sense mechanism. Based on the bandwidth uh, mechanisms, uh, the all allocation of bandwidth is guaranteed and easy in cellular network. But in uh, ad hoc network, the allocation of the bandwidth is based on the shared channel using complex max algorithm because uh, single channel will be shared by more than one device in ad hoc network. Based on the technology wise uh, in cellular network IS-952 at present LTE so the, all the technologies they are utilizing in uh, cellular network in ad hoc network uh, uh, WLAN 802.11E uh, using in ad hoc network cost and uh, time for installation high cost and uh, takes more time for deployment in uh, cellular network but in ad hoc network low cost and does not take more time for deployment because uh, in cellular network we need a standard architecture or backbone architecture the installation of base station and msc and all requires more time 
but in your ad hoc network each and every mobile will act as a node and also host so they can, it, uh, the deployment is very easy in ad hoc network time synchronization easy to achieve time synchronization in cellular network time synchronization is difficult and consume uh, bandwidth in uh, ad hoc network host requirement uh, the mobile host are relatively low complex because uh, we have a base station mobile switching center uh, to establish a call between one mobile to another mobile but in your ad hoc network such facilities are not available that's why the mobile host are more complex and also demands intelligence uh, should have a transceiver as well as routing and switching capability based on the deployment uh, wide deployment and currently in uh, 5g evolution but in ad hoc network several issues are to be addressed for the successful commercial deployment even though widespread use exist in the defense thank you for watching this video kindly comment for this video thank you